right? So uh, this will be your quadratic inequality, the special case of a quadratic inequality. So uh, we go into one be before we solve the quadratic inequality, we have to make it become a uh, general form of a quadratic equation, right? So you can using calculator and double check whether this can be factorized or not. So you can using calculator, I'll show you. So there are something happened during you using your calculator for this case. So uh, okay. So you have choosing A, A here, you choose the polynomial, polynomial, pressing button 2, and you select the degree here is 2, quadratic, right? The degree is 2. So you key in all the coefficient. So the 1, 2, and 3, right? 1, 2, and 3. So 1 equal, 2 equal, 3 equal. So then you have, uh, if you see that, there is the number. The number is not a real number. It's an imaginary number, right? Uh, so this is a special case I, that I'm going to discuss here. So where's the quadratic giving a, a imaginary roots? So the meaning here is uh, you try to see. Uh, so x square plus two x plus three. You uh, we try to complete the square first. Okay? We com do completing the square. So for completing the square, uh, how we do completing the square? So very simple. You just write x square plus with two x. Add another two bracket, which is not supposed to be there, because once you minus these two, it's the same thing, and you get zero, right? You will still get back the same thing. So I now add it back. So what is the term here? I take the b divide by two, right? Uh, so you have learned this during your SPM. So then you have x square plus with two x plus with one power of two minus with one power of two plus with three. Uh, so you have to write this in a complete square. So the x, the 1 here, you will put positive 1 here, right? And this one with negative 1 plus 3, you have positive 2. Ah, then you will see that x plus 1 square plus 2 means that x plus 1 square plus 2. Ah, how to solve this type of inequality? So, okay, I have to, I, I have to teach you some knowledge for quadratic. Alright, uh, it's not about solving the number and getting the answer. Okay, you have to explain why you're getting that answer. So first, you see that x plus one square is at least zero, right? Uh, why, sir? Why is it at least zero? That's why I said you must have some mathematical knowledge. So you have x plus one square greater than zero. Of course, this is a square, right? Uh, if you square, when you square something. Let's say you square a zero, you square a zero, you are getting at least, you will get the least is zero. Uh, after any number except zero, you, 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 you put negative one or two, anything you put, once, once you square, you are always positive. Uh, it's always positive. So, so when you add, when you add this to a two, when you add a two, it of course become greater than, greater than zero, right? Why? Because this is at least zero. Well, when you plus two, right? You plus two, okay? You plus two both sides. Uh, for example, you plus, uh, you plus two, right? X plus one square plus two is at least greater than two, right? So it means that it's already greater than two. So means that X plus one square definitely at least is two. Of course, this whole thing will be greater than zero, right? Uh, it will be greater than zero. So this is always greater than zero. No matter what value of x you choose, okay? Uh, you put negative, uh, you put negative 100, you put zero, any number also, you will be greater than zero. So this case means that the x can accept any real number. Uh, so uh, this is the solution. Or you can write in this form, it's an element of negative infinity up to infinity. Means every value of x is satisfied this inequality. All right, so I will show you one more. Okay, if you not very understand what I mean here, okay, if you draw out the quadratic, uh, if you draw out this quadratic right here, if you draw out the quadratic for, for this graph, uh, how you want to draw this graph? Of course, you have to remember the, 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 the shape of the graph, right? So you can know this is a, a smart, the graph that are open upwards, right? So with a minimum point. So you can read the minimum point from here where it's a negative one and two, right? Negative, positive one, negative one, and two from your additional maths knowledge. So it means from negative one and two here, uh, you have a minimum point. So what can you see about this graph? This graph is not intersecting the x-axis. 
from the previous video of the quadratic inequality, all the quadratic is intercepting the x-axis. Whereas you can decide uh, a negative part and the positive part. But for this case, it happened to be everything above the x-axis. Semua di atas x-axis. The graph, the value of y here, the value of y here is always positive. Right? Always positive. Very big. So if for 4, it will still be above there. Any number, any value of x here, the graph is still above. So it means that for any value of x, this is always true. It's always greater than 0. Uh, so this is graphically and this is algebraically. All right? You will furthermore understand about this when you learn chapter 5. All right? So now it's for your knowledge. If you can keep in view, if you're not very understand about uh, this concept here. All right?